Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and Atro, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to best use and apply the mixer brush tool every single time you're doing skin retouching in Photoshop. So I'll show you the best way to use the mixer brush tool and retain those nice and highly realistic natural skin details in your images in Photoshop using frequency separation. And if I told you like the video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you find the content on this channel really helpful in your photography career. So this is the image just we have right now. I'm just going to be using an action because I don't want this to be a pretty long tutorial like my usual detailed tutorials. So what you have to notice, a mixer brush tool is just like a tool that is going to enable us to even out or blend the transitions within the skin tones while retaining the natural and those natural and realistic details within the skin so we want to leave the skin details intact but at the same time trying to blend the unevenness within the skin tone so i'm just going to come right here into my action and i'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action the reason for playing a 16-bit frequency separation action is because this is a 16-bit image so you have to first of all play the right frequency separation action for the right image so just going to come right here and I'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action. So this is the most important step for this tutorial. So when you play your action, it usually stops at the point when you have to select the details that you want to retain with in the final image. So you have to click and look for the area that has more or prominent skin textures. And when you look for that area, make sure you zoom in by using the zoom in icon so when you zoom in and you get that reference area make sure you move the radius slide up to a point when you're just starting to close out on the details within that area so remember this radius shouldn't be cramped because these images are going to be having different levels of sharpness or images are going to be taken using cameras that have different megapixels or different sensors so you shouldn't cram this radius but you have to apply a radius that is differing depending on the, the image that you have to retouch. So move the radius up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on those details. Meaning, the details we will lose out are those details that you're going to be remaining with in the final retouched image. So at around 7.0, that is when I'm starting to lose out on the details. So you have to move this up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on the details. But you can still see... The facial structures in the image and i'm just going to come and hit okay and right now the action has finished playing and usually in my frequency separation action i have this black and white layer so if at all you don't have it i'm just going to delete it so that you can be on the same page so usually this is how most of your actions may be looking so in order to use a mr bash tool you have first of all identified the areas that have those uneven skin tone transitions so that you can work on them and blend them quite well. So I'm talking about a mixer brush tool and in order to locate the mixer brush tool, come under the brushes, select and simply right click under the brushes. If I told you have newer versions of Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop 2020 and my mixer brush tool is under the brushes. So I right click and I come and get the mixer brush tool. But if I told you have older versions of Photoshop, you may be able to find your mixer brush tool right in this option. So right click and get it. So after I have selected the mixer brush tool, you have to come and set it up. So make sure you, you click down here and get the hardness to 0%, meaning the brush hardness is going to be a soft one. It is a soft mixer brush tool. And make sure it is a clean brush. So we have two options right here. The first one is going to be load the brush after each and every stroke and the second one is going to be clean the brush after each and every stroke remember as you're trying to blend or paint within the image it implies that you're going to be working with different color levels or tonal or skin tonal values meaning the colors may be different meaning every single time we're moving the mr brush tool from one area to another the brush has to be as clean as possible. That's why you have to select this second option, which is clean the brush. So Photoshop is going to 
automatically clean the mixer brush tool as you are trying to paint on different areas of the image. So for the weight, I prefer to use a weight of 9. So this doesn't differ or this doesn't change from one image to another. I prefer to use a weight of 9, the load of 75, the mix at 90 and the flow of 100. So some people tend to use different values. Some people may use 20 all through. They may be having a weight of 20, load 20, mix 20, flow 20. But personally, I prefer to use 9, 75, mix at 90 and the flow 100. So this may be different from one person to another. So depending on what works best for you, uh, you have to choose that and work around that. So I prefer to use the weight of 9, load 75, mix at 90 and the float of 100. Make sure sample alias is not checked or marked because when you check this option and you come down here and you select the layer that contains the colors or the tones, which is the low frequency layer, and you have checked this option and you try painting on the skin, it means it's going to be sampling information or the textures and also painting them on the low frequency layer so you don't have to select this option make sure it is not checked and you select the layer that contains the colors or skin tones so right now we can't see the areas that have uneven skin tone transitions and the trick i tend to use i have two basic tricks that i tend to use in order to identify the areas that don't have even skin tone transitions and what i tend to do I come and I turn off the texture or high frequency layer and when you turn it off, now you can see the areas that have uneven skin tone transitions and you can now see those bumpiness within all the unevenness within the color transitions. But when you leave the texture layer on, it means that it's going to be distracting to you as you're trying to paint in or even the transitions within the skin tone. So just turn it off. That is a trick I tend to use. And in order to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer by tool, you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So the open is going to reduce on the size and the right one is going to increase on the size of the brush. So you have to keep on playing with different sizes of the mixer by tool and start painting. So as I'm going to be painting, I'm going to try to be painting colors that are looking alike. So left click and hold down and move the Mr. Bash tool in a direction of the area that I'm trying to even. So you can see I'm trying to paint in just like that. I'm just trying to harmonize the colors. And the one I'm using a Mr. Bash tool, I'm not zoomed all the way in like this. I'm retouching at a distance so that I can see every uneven skin tone transition. So I'm just going to come and paint colors that are looking alike. So when it comes to the highlight, I'm just going to paint in just like that and come and paint just right there. So I'm trying basically to harmonize colors that are not even or harmonized quite well in the image. So reduce on the size and work on a smaller area just like that. And when you turn on the texture layer, you can see that when you turn on the group on and off, you can see you have just evened out the transitions within this area just look at that and the textures are still very intact within the image so turn this back off and you can continue working on the image just like that and you can start this is going to make you retain the original skin details within the image and the other trick i tend to use in order to see or identify the uneven transitions within the skin i select I'm going to activate the high frequency layer and I select it. I come and I create a black and white adjustment layer on top of that. And I come to the reds and darken the reds just like that, slightly, and even the yellows just like that. And after that, I come back and I select the low frequency layer. And after selecting it, I can come and start painting. But when you feel like this is a little bit distracting with the textures on, you can come back and turn off the textures and you can work on the image in a black and white version so that it is not a little bit distracting and you just come and paint through and harmonize those colors that are looking close or alike in the image. So reduce on the size. But like I said, make sure the sample alias is not che checked or activated and you're selected on the low frequency layer. 
and just come and paint him just like that. So we are basically trying to paint colors that are looking alike, but we don't distract the original shape of the model's face. So basically that is how I use the Mr. Bright tool. And I can come back and turn on the texture or high frequency layer and deactivate the black and white. And you can see the before and after. Look at it from a distance, before, after, before, after. You can see the original skin details are still intact within the image. And when you're done blending the skin, you can come and remove the blemishes by selecting the texture high frequency layer and get whichever tool that you prefer to remove the blemishes and clean up the blemishes. And that is how to use the Mr. Bash tool when using frequency separation in Photoshop. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you not subscribe this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I see you need more amazing trailer. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.